Hi, I'm Minister Ralph Friedrichs. Making a difference is my belief. Here's my challenge to everyone. I just want to challenge everyone, a challenge I'm also trying to live out. No matter how busy you are, there is always something you can do to brighten someone's day. Give someone a hug. Send a text with an inspiring quote. Friends, mail a heartfelt card. Tell someone how much you appreciate him or her. If we look each day presents us with opportunities to share kindness throughout the world, my core belief is that we are called to not only love God and love people, but to carry out the great commission and share the eternal message of Jesus Christ. My goal is to help you reimagine your life and let go of the thoughts and behaviors that undermine you so that a renewed and fulfilled you can emerge starting today. We must love one another as God loves each and every one of us. To be able to love, we, my friends, need a clean heart. Prayer is what gives us a clean heart. The fruit of prayer is deepening of faith, and the fruit of faith is love. I hope each and every one of you remember to show compassion and have a, a great life ahead of you with Jesus Christ. Good morning. My name is Ralph Friedrichs. I am an author, an addiction recovery coach, a life coach, minister, and host of the show, Take Your Life Back Today radio show. You can see a video version is on YouTube under channel, Take Your Life Back Today show. Listen to us on iHeartRadio, iTunes, Google Music, Amazon Music, and any other digital platform. Folks, you keep asking God to explain it, and he keeps telling you to trust him. You keep asking God to explain it, and he keeps telling you to obey him. You keep asking God to make sense of it, and he keeps calling you to walk in it. My friends, sometimes the weight of what we are carrying gets very heavy on our shoulders. We think, this child is too hard to raise. I can't stay in this marriage, you might say. I can't deal with this sickness. I'm lonely. I'm hurting. These voices will try to condemn us. You don't have enough faith. You need to be stronger, it keeps saying. God's not going to help you. You are go- too weak to keep going. Well, my friends, don't believe those lies. Even Jesus couldn't carry the weight of his own cross. See? Could it be that the disappointment in you is so upsetting about what is really blessing you in disguise? You can't see it, but it's a part of divine plan. It's a critical piece that God is going to use years down the road to take you where you never dreamed of ever going. But right now, That's right, right now, that situation by itself doesn't make sense to you. It seems random, just a bad break. When in fact, it's uh, the hand of God setting you up for the increase down the road. Without that challenge, uh, you won't see far and beyond favor that belongs to you. As my second book is called, Struggles Became My Strength, your struggles will become your strength. Call me at 844 help You and I, we can help each other take our lives back. Be good to yourselves. Always be good to each other. Remember, a simple smile to anyone can change their day and can change their life. And you make a difference in your life. Just because things aren't working out today or even yesterday does not mean they're not going to work out tomorrow because God is watching over you. And God bless you. Have a great day and have a great life with Jesus Christ in your life. Take good care. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye now.